I've always wanted to be a firefighter. After all, which kid doesn't? The idea of driving around on loud trucks making obscene amount of noise and playing with what is essentially an overgrown garden hose. To me, I love this idea as a kid. I remember the time when I was six, we went to the Boston Museum where they had an exhibit of a, of a fire truck, complete with the jackets and helmets. I remember trying them on and thinking the world of myself, how amazing I must have looked. In reality, I looked comic in my oversized helmet and jacket, but that didn't matter to me. The idea of doing this one day stuck in my head. And that was my dream for a long time, until it wasn't. Hearing my classmates talk about what they were going to do in, to go to college and what they were going to do in the real world, the idea of becoming a firefighter sounded childish, almost impossible to me, until grade 11, where we did the grade 11 medical camp. A three-day camp, we went off to the mountains of Bali, and we practiced emergency medicine. This, found me, this, this showed me something I was good at, and I enjoyed doing it, and I felt like I excelled at it. So, over that summer, when I was panicked one night, thinking about what I was going to do when I entered the real world, I thought to myself, what are things I'm good at and what are things I hold value to myself? And I got thinking. Well, I was good at medical. So I started thinking, what are jobs that have medicine? But that hardly narrowed down my options. So I thought again, what are other things that I hold valuable to me? Family. Family is one thing that I've always held very dear to my heart throughout my life. I, growing up, I didn't have a father, but my brother, he stepped up and he took the role of father figure in my life. Whenever we go back to the States, I I would always, my sisters would always give us a place to stay. My family was always there for me. And the thought of that in a job captivated me. It captivated me so much that I decided this is what I want to do with my life. So I started thinking, what are jobs that have family in them? So, there's the big three. There's the military, which when I first presented this idea to my mom, she was mortified. The idea of me <laughs> being a soldier, she hated that. After all, we're at green school. <laughs> Next was the police force. Well, my mom, not impressed with this idea, was more tolerable of it. But still, I decided I could make a better idea. So I kept thinking. And like that, it hit me. Why not see if I could become a firefighter? After all, this had been my childhood dream. It had everything that I wanted in a job. It had the strong camaraderie between your coworkers. When you don't have people that you make idle chit chat at the water cooler with, no. It had a bond. You had an almost brother-like bond between the people you work with, knowing that no matter what, they'll always be there for you, and they'll always have your back. I always admired this in people. I remember when I was a small kid, I would always hang around my brother when we were, when we were construction, and had his crew of friends who were helping him. Like any curious kid, I was always hanging around, trying to figure out what they were doing. And eventually, they gave me small tasks to do, like pick up loose nails and loose screws. This eventually graduated to bigger jobs, like digging a hole. <laughs> but this, to me, I loved it. Seeing, just being around people that had, a strong, that had a strong bond with each other, even as that. It has always been something I've held so dear to me, and something that I want to hold dear to me for the rest of my life. So, after I decided that this is what I want to do with my life, I, just, I had to think, well, what can I do here? Well, the first step most people do to becoming a firefighter is, de is taking EMS, Emergency Medical Services, which the most basic of which is EMT, Emergency Medical Technician. My original plan was to leave Green School and attend this and be standing here today talking about how amazing the course was and how much I loved it. Needless to say, that didn't work, for the least of reasons being, you know, the virus. So, talking to people that had done this before and had become firefighters, they recommended I take a class in, in human anatomy and physiology. Well, I found one, it was taught by Cod Academy, and it was enjoyable, albeit boring. So after I'd done that, I sat around thinking, there's not that much I can do here. So as I present this to you now, it is not the end of my greenstone, but only the first step in what, in my, in what my journey will be. Because to me, when I was presenting Greenstone, I saw it not as, some, as a chance to present something to be entertaining, but as a chance to springboard myself into the next steps in my life. Thank you. <laughs>